What's up, everybody? So today we got something very special. I'm here with my special guest, Kaudi Nagao. What's going on with this property? Absolutely. So we're going to be featuring my friend's listing. We're here at the Tuscan Cliffs, located inside the Southern Highlands Master Plan community. Mm -hmm. It's a guard-gated community. And, you know, we just did a video on my listing. I yep. wanted to feature my friend's listing. It definitely has a different vibe. Yeah. So I really wanted you to kind of give us our feedback on the different communities here. Also, Hey, on the link in the description below, I will have that property featured of her listing, so that way you guys can check that out. Also, uh, I just want to say welcome to our new channel, Chuggets 2.0. So this listing belongs to Danielle Hess, correct? Correct. All right, let's go take a look at this All thing right, real let's quick. Go. So look at the front here. This thing is beautiful. You got nice cladded stone. Yes. I love that. Look at this. Golf cart. Golf cart. So I do need to mention we're just right across the Southern Highland yeah. Golf Course. So a lot of the people here, they take advantage of the private membership there mm -hmm. and they could drive their golf cart to the course. Nice. Yes. Let's go. All right. So it looks like we have some nice stucco work. And we have an entryway here, a private entry into the casita, right? Yes, the multi-gen. Multi-gen, there Absolutely. you go. All right, let's go inside. Look at this, ring doorbell. Let's open the door. Danielle! Hello! Hi. How are you? Good to see Thanks you. Thanks for having us. Thank you for coming. So this is Danielle Hess, and the name of your brokerage? Berkshire Hathaway. That's right. The Group. So, let's talk about this beautiful entryway. What is going on with this home? So I'm really excited to present to you 11362 Villa Bellagio. Okay. We have a stunning home. It's almost 5,000 square feet, five bedrooms, six baths, and the primary bedroom, um, as well as a multi-generational suite, all yeah. on the first level. Ooh, I like that. And it's like that. Uh, a former William Lyon model home. Okay. And the owners put in a little over, one, almost $1.5 million in custom enhancements and improvements. Wow. So, so as we walked in, the first thing I noticed, it really just drives me out here. Let's go see what's going on. My gosh, take a look at this. Danielle, what's going on with this? There's so much upgrades to this home. You have a stunning great room, 20-foot okay. ceilings, beautiful stonework, fireplace. So you're talking about the fireplace. What's going on with this fireplace? Because it looks like you have a beautiful quartz mantle. You do have copper cladded all the way up to the top and some beautiful, nice stone. This is really beautiful here. It's definitely a focal point in here. Man, so let's take a look at this. We have a bar section here. What's going on with this? This is beautiful. A lot of upgrades and a lot of features to this bar area. Love the glass. So what's going on with this? So you have your beverage fridge. Okay. Pendant lighting. Mm -hmm. You also have your wine fridges over here to the right. Oh, wow. And you can store up, up top and down below. So it looks like you do have a nice little wine chiller. I'm gonna say maybe about 50 bottles, so if you guys like to drink, there you go. But I wanna take a look at this kitchen because there's a lot of upgrades I noticed to this kitchen here. Uh, I do love this island. It looks like you have a two and a half inch waterfall with a front face. But also I noticed is this. You got two dishwashers. This is true custom right here, guys. Take a look yeah. at this. Because look, when you're partying and you're entertaining, boom, you can just clean, right? Yeah, this is yeah, really And then nice you get to put them away. We'll put them in and then oh. you get to unload them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's, let's talk about Thermidor the Thermidor appliances. Okay. Custom cabinetry, sub-zero fridge. Mm -hmm. yeah. You also have your gas range, beautiful tile work, and a butler's pantry and a walk-in pantry. Oh, wow. Let's take a look at this. All right. So now we are in the formal <laughs> dining area. What's going on with this? This is beautiful. So we have 10-foot ceilings. It's a tray ceiling, which makes it 11 feet. You have this beautiful custom chandelier. Mm -hmm. Also the exposed wood beams. I then you have that. slate floor inset with this decorative tile. And it's a perfect space to entertain. And electric blinds. Ooh, Ooh. well, you have electric blinds throughout? Throughout. Oh, let's talk about this. Yeah. Low voltage, because a home at this price point, you definitely have to have some upgrades when it comes to low and high voltage. Mm -hmm. What system do you have in here? So we have the Lutron system, Ooh. all based on this little switch, which makes it very easy. Oh, look so at that. So every room. Nice. In addition to outdoor uh, awnings that we can okay. talk about later. Cool. What else do we have here? So now moving on to the uh, multi-generational suite. It has its own separate entry. 
Ooh, I like that. Take a look at this, guys. Yeah. So when you have guests, right, they don't have to come through the main door. They have their own private entry. And a, a good amount of storage underneath these staircase. Nice. I love that. I don't mean to take away from the multi-general seat, but you do have a powder bath right okay. here for guests, so they don't have to enter through here. Mm -hmm. Then you have your primary bedroom in the multi-generational suite. That's well, you guys know how yeah. I like the, uh, the beds. The beds. You know what? This one's pretty comfortable. Here we go. We got to test it out. <laughs> Boom! Cellar. <laughs> All right, so what's back here? All right, so moving on, you have your closet, your bathroom, and then your living space along with a kitchenette. Wow, I like this. And you know what's great about this? It's very functional. Mm -hmm. You literally have this little living room. You have the bed set there. Then you have this little countertop right here, this little peninsula. And look at this. You have a nice three-inch quartz that takes you all the way around. But take a look at this. You have the sink, dishwasher, microwave. But most importantly, oh, you wait, don't, don't really... forget the fridge. Oh, don't forget the fridge. That's oh, right. Fridge. Built yes. in. Take a look at this. It's a built in oh, wow. and it's disguised. Oh, look nice. at this. That's nice. Love this. Really nice. But most importantly, look at this. You have access out to the garage. But now you did mention something about the garage. And I think this is important. So the three car garage, which this is the one car attached to the yeah. multi generational suite, it is air conditioned. Yeah. So it is the same temperature as the house which is very important for car connoisseurs yeah. and the longevity of the cars. You have epoxy floors, sealed mm -hmm. floors, and then also an exterior door to the outside. I really love this garage. It really matches the inside of the home. And also right behind Rudy, there's actually an exterior door that takes you out to the back. So I do like that. That's a, definitely an upgrade option right there. All right, let's go back inside. And then I don't want to forget to mention that the attention to detail, mm -hmm. they didn't forget it as you moved into the multi-generational yeah. suite. So you do have a wood wall and beautiful tile work in the kitchen as yeah, well. Yeah, you know what? I really do love this um, what feature this? wall here. Is this tile or is this? Oh, this is actually, yeah, this it's is like a, a tile. This is really tile. nice. That's pretty. And you got the reverse tray ceiling of one inch and you got the LED lights. I believe you guys did a lot of uh, lights throughout the house, right? He did. After they the did. aftermarket? Okay. And the speakers throughout. Okay, cool. And don't forget these. There you go. Oh, Look nice. at that. With Electric the push lines. of a button, they'll all close. Yeah. And I'm sure that's also nice. connected to an app too as well, right? Correct. Okay. Along with the Nest thermostat. Nice. Okay. But I wanted to take a look at this really quickly because I think this is important for this multi-gen. Take a look at this uh, custom sink right here mm -hmm. where it just uh, bevels right down here. And then actually, look at this. This is really nice. Here's an upgrade here. They actually had to do the plumbing from the wall versus from the um, vanity itself. So this is just an extra upgrade. So I like those little attention to details. Then I love the uh, feature wall here that's on the backsplash of the shower. This is really nice. I do like that. Now we're making our way back into the foyer, right? I don't know. There's just something about this. How do you tell me? It's yeah. just very inviting. Absolutely. I Isn't think it's it? the wall feature and it goes all the way through the top. It's so grandiose along yeah. with the, the it, chandelier and the wrought iron staircase. It just, it has a great entry, doesn't it? You know what reminds me of that uh, Pebble Tech in, yeah. inside the pool? However, this is just quartz wallpaper, it's, right? It's granite. Really? Uh, it's granite wallpaper. Wow. Yes. Wallpaper. I mean, take a look at this. I've this never is, seen but it. It's, but it's not rough to the touch. Yeah, yeah I love this. Wow. This is really it's, it's, nice. It's kind of spongy, but it does. Yeah. It reminds me of Pebble Tech that mm -hmm. you see yeah. in the pool. In the pool. And I love this beautiful chandelier. That's gorgeous. Okay. So what do we have here? Okay, so the primary suite okay. is located on the opposite end from the multi-generational. So you have beautiful custom wallpaper mm -hmm. that I don't think you can capture in a picture or on video. Yeah. It's the sparkle, it's just absolutely beautiful. Now this is not cheap wallpaper. You're probably paying $100 a square foot for something like this. Wow. So. That it's, is really nice. And I noticed they did the ceilings too as well with the wallpaper. How large is this primary bedroom? It's 25 by 30. 25 by 30. You also got the surround sounds. You do have the lighting too as well. Yeah. So then moving on to the master retreat. Okay. You have this great space that also you have access to the outside. So mm -hmm. if you want to go skinny dipping in the skinny jacuzzi, <laughs> if you want to wow. go in your birthday suit. Have a seat. <laughs> Look at this. This is actually pretty comfortable. Yeah. I don't want to say pretty comfortable. This is very comfortable. This is larger than my own primary bedroom. I love the fireplace. Really nice. Love the mantle. Then you got the TV. Then you got the reverse tray ceiling, six inches. I mean, this is really nice. Beautiful. I think you need to sit here. Why? 
because you have a beautiful view. Okay. Oh, talking yeah, about. I think you need to sit yeah, in this. This is like the. This reminds me of like an old man's chair. Yeah. Okay, then I should be sitting here. <laughs> See, now she got I'm jokes. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I actually love the leather. I love this chair. Yeah. But you do need to sit there because you get to, yeah. you could glance out and it, it, at night, I think it's beautiful. I mean, it's still beautiful during the day. No, but it's it is. Great you, you can definitely see everything out there. I mean, it's a little bit cloudy today, but we're going to go out there. We're going to see exactly what's going on. So now we're entering the primary bathroom. And the attention to detail in here is they've oh, wow. just completely followed it through from the tile going up the bathtub to double sinks. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, this is yeah. this is all granite. Then you got the quartz. This is like that jacuzzi tub. But now this is not the jacuzzi brand, but you do have that jacuzzi tub feel. And I do love the wallpaper yeah. as well. And your shower in the back. This is gorgeous. Yeah, it's pretty deep too. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Let's take a look at this. Come here, guys. Let's take a look. How, look how big this is. Look at this. We're gonna go inside. Look at this. It's huge. Oh my gosh. Definitely can have a party in here. And don't forget the vanity. Yes. yes it's very important for all the ladies. Love and the this. beautiful sconces on the wall. Those may have been missed. Yeah. And also the lighting. I love that the fact you got a TV here. You yeah, do your yeah. makeup, take a shower, relax, and chill. But most important, let's go inside this closet here. Wow, look at this. Wow. Custom closets this. by Closets, closets of Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. That's right. Closets of Las Vegas. Check out my girl, Pat. Oh, look at this. I love oh, these nice. pull downs. Yes. Gorgeous. Super nice. Nice. Yeah. Now, you know what? I've been eyeing out that backyard. I want to see what that thing's all about. Okay. That's like the yeah. number one seller. Like, I can't hold on. I got to go see what it looks like. So we're in the breakfast room. Mm -hmm. And we want to mention the big ass fans. So in wait, here. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be swearing on here. This, that's not this kind of channel. Why are you saying big ass fans? So they installed four big ass fans. <laughs> now I can't laugh without saying it, but. Yeah. It's What's symbolic is they have the, the back of a, a donkey's behind okay. in every room that they've installed the fans. So it's so. actually a brand name. So it's a brand name. Oh, wow. wow. And they are very pricey fans. So they're high-end fans. They've installed four of them, one here, two outside, and then two upstairs, which we'll be taking a look at soon. Big-ass okay. fans. Go get wow. yours today. Wow. <laughs> then you have these beautiful sliding doors. On okay. the left side, they, have, they installed the pocket sliders. But the owners, because these used to have two windows, okay. and so they installed the the sliding doors called La Cantina. Okay. They're European from Europe, um, custom doors. And I do like this because they're quality doors because these are actually aluminum slides. As you can see how smooth wow. these things actually glide. So this is actually a quality door. You got the dual, uh, dual pane windows with the low E as well. So you know as far as like quality efficiency when it comes to energy, this is perfect for it. But also yeah. I noticed that we got pocket doors too as well on this side. We do. Can we go take a look we at do. this? Because this is interesting right here. So this looks like a pretty deep pocket door here. Wow. It is, and you'd mentioned the ease of opening and closing, yeah. and with custom doors, especially these La Cantina, the mm -hmm. ease in opening and closing it, you can tell how, oh, wow. how nice of a door they are because it's, it's very easy. Wow. Look, that thing just glides, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. That's really nice because these could get really heavy. Yeah. You know, I'll have a showing and I can't open the doors. Now there's a technique and in my past videos, I showed you guys how to do that. Okay. But now coming into the patio here, it looks like there's a lot of upgrades. Let, let's see what's yeah. going on here. So we have travertine laid floors. Okay. Another uh, enhancement, the owner completely redid the floors. So travertine throughout and then they resurfaced the pool, added the tile, they raised it, a beautiful water feature in addition to a fire pit and a custom outdoor kitchen, which provides unobstructed panoramic Las Vegas Strip city and mountain views. How wow. huge is this lot? It's 12,000, a little over 12,000, 12,693. 12, okay. That's a great lot size. You know what's crazy? It seems like you have a pretty big setback. How deep is the setback on here? It's 20 foot setback. Wow, this is nice. Also, you could tell the pool has been fully upgraded with the pop-ups. Looks like you got the pebble text. And you said uh, they did some upgrades here as well, right? They did. They raised it. Mm -hmm. And then it is self-cleaning, which makes yeah. it nice and a little bit easier to clean. Okay. Wow, look at this kitchen back here. It's huge. So, so you have another gourmet kitchen out here. Wow. Look at this granite. Nice stone. 
love this. Where's it's this beautiful, from? isn't it? Um, Sunset Pools and Land Sunset Oasis Pools and Landscaping did this entire backyard okay. in addition to the outdoor kitchen. Okay. Yeah. And you have beverage beverage drawers, a refrigerator, mm -hmm. storage, AMG grill, which is like the Ooh, Mercedes nice. of, of grills. Yeah. And then you have a Hearthstone Hearthstone wow. outdoor pizza oven. Look at that. If you guys want to cook some yeah. pizza, this is great for entertaining. You hire a chef, they come out here, boom, you can just definitely entertain with this a beautiful strip view. And look at the view fencing. That is really nice. Then you have the observation deck up there too as well with the jacuzzi. Can we go over there and take a look? Sure, yeah, sure. I wanna see what that looks like from that perspective. You really do have stunning views yeah. from so many places in this home. Yeah. So let's talk about lighting, surround sounds. Do we have that out here too as well at night? We do. So this thing must look audio. gorgeous. Wow, look at this. Look at this backyard. This thing is gorgeous. Really nice. So there's only a few homes that offer these views because okay. of the elevation going up the Tuscan Cliffs. Okay. So you are slightly elevated as you go up, which makes it nice so you're not sitting equal with your neighbor. Yeah. Now, you mentioned on uh, both sides of, of the home, we have, what, the synthetic grass? Is that for, like, a dog run? You or? do. Yes. Yeah, so there is a dog run on the left. Okay. But they did install artificial turf on both sides. So I noticed that you got a few cameras around the home, which is great for security purposes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we talked about, because this is in Gargated Community, too, as well, so you got the extra coverage. But you talked about the misters. Yes. They installed a misting system. And then you also have Rainier awnings, mm -hmm. electric awnings upstairs and downstairs. Wow, I love so this the, banister. Oh. Really nice. Wow, this is great. This, everything is just basically open. This is really nice. You know, like some homes you have that pony wall, but this is great. The attention to detail, again, with the wood, wood beams yeah. and the ceiling and the custom wallpaper. Okay. Yes. We also have an outdoor patio right here, or balcony. Oh, let's go out there. Let's yeah. see what this is all about. Ladies yeah. first. You a lady, so go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So this is facing the front of the house? Correct. Yeah. Which would be southbound. This okay. Way. So your sun way. exposure is probably going around that way. Is that correct? Yes. Right. It's east and then sets in the west. Perfect. Perfect. So um, what do we have upstairs here? Because we got a bedroom here. We got something over here and then another one over here. What's going on up here? So you have three bedrooms upstairs okay. along with the media room. And then the bedroom on the right is being featured as an office. Got it. I noticed there's also cameras inside the home too as well. Yes, Which is. is, I think, that's perfect. I don't know why you wouldn't have something like that, especially a home this large. But uh, we have a bedroom here. The reason why I want to come in here real quick is because... If you take a look at the full beams here, oh, wow. I love how beautiful this is. This is gorgeous. Like a coffered ceiling, essentially, with the wood. That's great. Similar. Now, yeah. also, I noticed that this is just not a regular bedroom. This is actually a junior suite because you have your full bathroom as well. So, right? yes, all end suite, walk-in okay. closets, and then you also have the Hunter Douglas blinds. So, the Hunter Douglas blinds are the ones only upstairs, is that correct? Correct. All right, hit it. Let's see what this thing looks like. going to do is we're going to head over to the media room okay. okay well we have don't forget this bedroom oh we got another bedroom we oh do. my god so many bedrooms we have another bedroom three bedrooms total upstairs three uh, bedrooms total upstairs nice. with the media room okay. okay again with the custom wallpaper it's very subtle okay tastefully done speakers again more lighting and we have a full okay. bathroom too here as well that's really nice same thing but i want to show you guys this here the media room i think this is really cool yeah, this is my favorite spot outside Wow, take a look wow. at this. This is definitely like just a, like a chill spot right here. It's a great spot. I mean, you could literally turn this into a movie theater room. Like seriously, yeah. it is definitely big enough. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. Wow, you got the surround sounds too as well. Yeah. But most importantly, there is a spectacular view out there. Yes. Show us this, because this is the cellar right here, guys. This is and where I spend covered. all my time. Should we turn on the big ass fan? Yes. Did she just say the big ass fan again? Yeah. I better not get demonetized. I think I love so many spots in this house, but I, I really, this is one of my favorites. Wow. wow. Oh, look at the shades, guys. Look at this. Hey, come on around this way, guys. Take a look at this view right here. Look at this strip view. Face it this way, Rudy. Show them what's going on. Minus the smoke. 
Our, our city's a little cloudy today, but still stunning views. Really nice. This is a literally 180 degree view right now. I mean, you can literally see Henderson all the way out to the north, the east side of town. Beautiful strip. You got the South Point right there. Nice. I think it captures how much higher elevation you are yeah. from the houses down below. Mm -hmm. You know, we never mentioned, who was a builder on here? William Lyons. William Lyons right. Homes? So this was a former William Lyons home. Okay. Model home. Model home. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go see what else we got going on. We could just camp out out here. We'll put our office That's out true. here. That's true. You know what? If you were a kid, if I was a kid and this was my parents' home, this is where you, like, you go camping, right? You just hang out here all day. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. That'd be cute. Pitch yeah. a tent. We'll pitch a tent. And we, there is several beverage refrigerators located throughout the house. That's really Disguised, nice. customized. One more bedroom that's converted to office. One more office converted to a bedroom, but this I think this is a beautiful, it beautiful is. shot right here. It is. No, it it's is. It's very open. You have views even from up here. Yeah, I mean you can literally see the mountain views. You have the strip view. And basic what I like about this, everything is just all open. You don't feel like claustrophobic whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. I mean from the front of the house to the back of the house, you can see the kitchen, the backyard. Really nice. Very nice. So this this ensuite bedroom is being featured as an office. Very nice. But okay. you still have a walk-in closet and you still have a full bath. So was this an aftermarket that they came in and built this? Or was this original with this the... Was, this was original with the model being okay. built. Model, yeah. But you do have the option if you wanted to turn this into a bedroom. Right. You, you could. could, Yeah, you could easily remove these yeah. and okay. not use it as an yeah. office. But okay. now everyone's working from home, so it makes sense to have yep. an yeah. office, right? Then we have the bathroom again, same, same type of bath that mirrors everything else, right? Mm -hmm. All the rest of the bath. The Beautiful stonework. Yeah, the only thing is different is the stonework. Come in here, really. let me show the, uh, the audience real quick. The tile and the work here. I mean, you could take a look. Everything is pretty much all clean in here. I don't even think nobody uses this bathroom. It's... <laughs> a okay. good majority of the house doesn't look. Actually, yeah. almost all the whole house doesn't look used. They've, they're meticulous. So this is definitely a move-in ready home for sure. This, this house is turnkey. Okay. You wouldn't have to do a single solitary thing. All right, Danielle, thank you so much for allowing us to tour your listing. But most importantly, what is the asking price for this home? It's $3.249 million. Oh, All right. not bad. We just adjusted the price. There you go. Really Cowdy, finish this up. If you're interested in learning more about this beautiful listing, make sure you click on the link in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. Did you guys like that collaboration and want to see more collaborations like that? Let us know in the comments below. But most importantly, do you want to see the full video tour of this property? If so, click on the link right there or click on the link in the description below. Matter of fact, I'll even have it in the comments below. Click it.